Yeah. Clutch. I'm in the clutch, we in the clutch, it's even been clutch. You think that we suck, your dreams are the luck, your ship is just sunk, we turn off away. Ooh, yeah. Skin on my face is up in disgust because people talking a mess, but there's nothing to discuss. I'm just being honest, I'm keeping it a bug. Uh huh. We in the clutch! What's going on, Clutch Squat? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dub. It's your boy Ross. And we are in the clutch. Hey. hey. Back to ladies and gentlemen, another busy today, you feel me? Uh, well, Trey Rags uh, made Back a special again. video, man. Yeah. Uh, the problem with YouTube and other social medias, a message to my supporters. Oh. Hey, man, we've been supporting Trey Rags since he was on TikTok and mm -hmm. before he got on YouTube and checking out his content. And then I know they blocked him on TikTok yeah, multiple man. times. Man, we on the verge of that ourselves. Instagram, <laughs> he tripping when it comes to him as well sometimes. Oh, I think he had to make a whole new uh, Instagram at one point. And uh, I'm guessing YouTube is now doing the same thing. And we wanted to check this out to see what he's talking about <clears> or whatnot. <throat> but, uh, you know, I, I do appreciate the bigger content creators actually putting their voices out there yeah. and, and allowing people to hear what's really going on, man. Yeah, like nice. it's, it's it's a lot of shady stuff going on behind the scenes when it comes to trying to grow on YouTube and, yeah. and trying to be authentic on YouTube. And uh, we've dealt with it, as you guys know, plenty of times. So we wanted to check this out because, you know, we support the homie, bro. So. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. And in case he's doing something else or having any other channel, you know, we want to be able to push it as well <coughs> uh, to the people that love him from our channel. You mm -hmm. know, So uh, let's get into this mug right now, man. I can only imagine <laughs> what he's going through, man. We already had Corey talking. So let's see what my homie <coughs> got going on. I really did not want to make this video. That's the deep, the deep I promise side. you guys, I did not want to make this video, but it's like, I feel like, I feel like I have to, because something happened today and it just made me feel like I had to make this video. You know, I've been seeing what's been going on with, um, a lot of people be asking me to uh, react to Corey, mm -hmm. uh, made his video uh, talking about the problems with YouTube and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we said about favoritism or racism and, you know, I comment on that video. I've been saw it. And you know, since he said that, I felt like I didn't have to say anything. Yeah, yeah. Because like, you know, I already complained. Y'all niggas already know. People that follow me for a long time, y'all know I complained about TikTok mm -hmm. for so long. What well, made this tracks, everything about it, man. <laughs> but like, you know, I feel like I have to make this video because you know, I didn't talk about, you know, YouTube and um, other social medias and what they're doing. And the problem that I see in them today, and it's like, man, it's really pissing me off. And it's pissing off a lot of other creators, even people that's not creators, bro. I feel like these apps and social media is like, they're, they're, they're getting too involved. Mm -hmm. They're getting too involved with silencing people and censoring people. Mm -hmm. Like, bro, on my Instagram today, this is what made me even turn on my camera today. And nothing, they didn't even ban my account, mm -hmm. but it just made me, think about everything that's happened to me so far. And it just made me think like, yo, it's not right. Hmm. I'm on Instagram today. I, was, I just logged in. I woke up and then I logged to my Instagram. I found out that they take down one of my stories that I uploaded. What was the story that I uploaded? I reposted a skit that they allowed me to have up and I was promoting it to my fans and I was just saying, like and share. They said they took that down because of hate speech. They gave me a community guidelines because of hate speech. Cause I said like and share. So I appealed it. I appealed it and then they sent back, oh, okay, we made a mistake. Hmm. And it's just like, it made me think like, yo, I had an Instagram before the Instagram that I have now, that's my main Instagram now. Mm -hmm. I had an Instagram before and it was like, what? About to hit 700,000 uh, followers mm -hmm. uh, or it was at 700,000 followers. And they kept giving me community guidelines because of stuff that I didn't do because of stuff that I posted on my story. And just like that, they snatched it away. They snatched away 700,000 followers from me. Damn. Now, the main Instagram that I use now, <clears throat> Trey Rags, is um, what, at like 80, 80, 80 something thousand followers, bro. And that was with like five months of me grinding, working hard, trying to gain my followers back. I wasn't able to get that 700,000 back because of mistakes, because of them giving me community guidelines without actually fully looking into the issue. And going back to TikTok, I had 5 million followers <laughs> on TikTok. That's crazy. 5 bro. million. 5 million. And you know what? They got rid of me. Mm -hmm. They got rid of me because of community guidelines. Mm -hmm. 
and most of the stuff I did not Pause violate, it. if not all of the we stuff. We getting the same thing on TikTok too now for those who follow us on TikTok. Yeah, that's what I was we about to literally say uh, our TikTok may be gone soon, bro. They've been hitting Hopefully us. Not. They uh, with the the community community guidelines stuff they've been hitting us with it like our channel is like if we get another one it they may take it down or whatever so yeah it's just being childish bro it's like yep and all we're doing is literally posting just clips from youtube bro to tiktok just trying that's to keep it. my I'm trying to keep my peace until the end like i did with Corey. yeah like, <laughs> that's, that's it <sighs> and you know what they did when they got rid of me on tiktok with my five million followers nothing they didn't give me no message. I couldn't talk to nobody. I couldn't Damn. get in touch with nobody to get my account back. They didn't even talk to me and give me a, a actual reason. You know what they said when they took away my following and followers? They said community guidelines. Yep. Same right. thing they said when they took away my Instagram. And, uh, you know, that's just the problem with today, you know? Like, you know, I make... Listen, y'all know I make dark skits. Yeah. All right? I make dark skits. But when did this become a reason... To get rid of people. Mm. My comedy, I have an audience for what I do. Just because some people don't like it don't mean that you can just toss people to the side. I don't like that these apps feel like they can just toss people to the side. Like, bro, this isn't the old days anymore. This is people's jobs. This is people's careers. Mm -hmm. People who actually working hard for this stuff. Mm -hmm. People changing their lives off of this stuff. And y'all getting rid of, y'all getting rid of, like, Y'all basically firing niggas is what y'all doing without looking into the issue. Mm -hmm. They're just getting rid of us so easily. And it's the craziest thing. I'm just thinking like, yo, YouTube can really get rid of me at any time that they want. And then what? Now I got to work my way back up from the bottom, bro. Like y'all just, y'all just, I feel like they are too involved. They're too involved, but they don't even look thoroughly enough to even be that involved. <laughs> they just right. throw away community guidelines to people without even fully yep. checking if they got yep. a community guideline. Y'all saying y'all make mistakes? Y'all make mistakes so often. Yep. Mm -hmm. it's and it's like, truth. it's crazy because it's like, yo. Boy, speeding. You know, back in the day, you know what, what happened back in the day when people was watching something that they didn't like or people saw a joke that they didn't like or saw a concert that they didn't like? They flipped the channel. Mm. Simple. Could all like, be so simple. We're, like we're in a day and age now where people think like what they have to say is so important and they feel like they can silence people. And that's just not right. If you don't like somebody, don't watch them. Simple, bro. And I'm sad because I don't know if it's what, people reporting my stuff or is it just these ass being too involved? But mm -hmm. the problem is, it's like they shouldn't just hand them out so easily. And I have a problem with YouTube too because um, I posted a video ago about 9-11. Now, listen, I post dark skits. I joke about everything. I joke about Republicans. I joke about Democrats. I joke about black people. I joke about white people. Mm -hmm. I am, am giving fair comedy, fair dark comedy to everybody. I um, Here's what they did with the 9-11 uh, skit. <clears throat> so I post a 9-11 skit, and I've noticed, like, man, this skit is moving slow with the views, you know? Mm -hmm. Before this, um, I got videos consistently in the 300,000s, 400,000s. I'm like, all right, forget it. As soon as I posted a video, wasn't allowed to be monetized. And, you know, normally I would understand, like, all right, that's a dark joke, I guess. But, you know, it's crazy. They didn't allow that to be monetized for like a day, for like a full day. And then they allowed it again to be monetized when the views slowed down and the views was at a halt. Then it was like, oh, okay, yeah, it can be monetized. So that means nothing was wrong with it in the first place. Mm -hmm. I got slavery skits up. They never got demonetized. <laughs> huh. Jokes when I make when the when the subject matter the dark subject matter is about slavery mm. and I make jokes about it, mm. nothing happened. I make a joke about 9-11, demonetized right off the rip, mm. and as soon as the views slow down, oh yeah, nothing was wrong. Mm. And then I was just I just I've been noticing, man. I actually went through a short, a real short, like creator depression. And a lot of creators, if you're a creator, you'll notice, mm. like especially if you make it to a certain point where you get certain views. Like, you, you get used to them views a lot, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden, it just seems like it just goes down out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think I probably was probably depressed about that for probably, like, probably, like, a few days, and I got over it. Because it's like, I'm not finna be worrying about the stuff that I cannot control. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I'm gonna work hard, and I'm gonna get through it. Now, let me go on my phone. All right.
So let's see, one, two, three, four. My last four videos, none of them are above 100,000. None of them are in the 200,000 range or 300,000 or 400,000. They're all in the 100,000 range, my last mm -hmm. four videos. And then the video before that had 247,000. And then the video before that was my 9-11 video, which got 184,000 views, mm -hmm. all right? And hear me out. Before that 9-11 video, let's see how many of my videos, how many of my skits are below 100,000 or in the 100,000 range. Check in. I see reaction videos. My reaction videos is in the hundred thousands or below the hundred thousands, but none of my skits. Look, none of my skits mm -hmm. are below hundred thousand. None of them. Who dealt with this too, bro? Mm -hmm. None of them are below one hundred thousand. Crazy. Mm -hmm. None of them. I'm going back. Going back. Going back. I'm a year. I'm a year back. Crazy. I don't see no skits hundred thousand. I'm back a whole year. Now this is a year consistently, a year consistently of not getting skits, but in the hundred thousand range, because I average above that, and it's just happened like that after nine eleven video. Now you know, a lot of people could think, oh, you know, you know, maybe uh, reviews just slowing down. You know, maybe you just falling off a little bit. That's fine. You know, that's perfectly normal. But I check my analytics all the time, bro. I check my analytics all the time. My click-through rate is the same as it's always been. Mm -hmm. Click-through rate, people that don't know, it's for the people that that's scrolling and when they see your video, it's the it's the rate that people when they see it that click on it. Yep, it's the same. Now, ask yourself this: Why is my click-through rate the same? My views getting lower. <laughs> that means that YouTube is showing Crazy. less and less mm -hmm. of my subscribers the video. Same here. They're showing bro. less people the video off the rip. Yeah, and you know that's the thing, though. Preach, and that's the thing that a lot of these social medias do, like TikTok and and YouTube. They don't, they they got this system, and it's the stupidest system ever, is where they don't show all of your supporters the video, all the people that got on the notification bell and stuff like that. They don't show all of them. They show a section of yep. them, mm -hmm. yep. and then they judge by how that section do or how good that section do, whether they're gonna show the rest of your supporters. Yep. People are following and subscribing to us for a reason, bro. Right. That's not right. For y'all to hold it off from the rest of the people. Yep. And uh, I just wanted to make this video just just so like other creators that's going through this, like, yeah, I, I understand what you're going through. And um, there's a lot of other skit creators who's going over who's going through the same thing. I'm looking at their channels and their videos was consistently at the views they was at, and then it's just dropping. And and I'm not gonna put y'all on blast and say y'all names, but I want you to know like be, like I see your struggle, bro. I see a struggle. I'm not going to say y'all names because if y'all want to talk about it, y'all will talk about it. But mm -hmm. I see that y'all, they're doing the same thing to y'all that they're doing to me. And I feel like I had to talk about it because I was just going to be quiet about it and work through it like I do with everything. Mm -hmm. But it's like, yo, this is a, a, a serious issue. And these apps is like, they're playing around with creators as if we're not people, as if this is not our careers, as if we're not bringing mm -hmm. subscribers and more people to y'all sites. Right. <laughs> and it, it, it's not right. And, um, he I just wanted to make bro. this as a message to, to my subscribers to um work hand in hand. Here's bro. what y'all can do, man. First of all, y'all all most of y'all already do it anyway, but for my channel and other creators' channels that y'all like, when y'all watch a video, just keep more in mind to leave a like and comment on the video. Because it 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 means so much more to us now with how much these sites is playing with us, you know? Mm -hmm. And like if you watch a skit that you like of mine, make sure that you share it with a family member a co-worker, a friend, anybody that you feel like that would laugh at it just to help me out because these apps, oh. these sites, they're playing around with us creators, man, and they, like, they, they're they really trying to, like, quiet people. They're only quiet in certain people for some mm -hmm. reason. And I ain't gonna dive into the deepness of why they're quiet in these people, but that's just what's going on. And I just want y'all to, like, you know, whenever y'all watch any of my next skits, just keep more in mind that if you laugh at it, to leave a like and share it and comment because it'll help me out. Uh, deeper than what y'all even ever think, man. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to talk about that. And we're going to be back to our regularly scheduled program. I'm going to be dropping skits after this. And we're going to get back into it. But I had to talk about this. You know, and at first I wasn't, but uh, you, we need more people to talk about it. Facts. Yeah, so if there's creators out there that's watching this, make a video about this, man. You know the issues that you're going through. Speak mm -hmm. on it. Because that's the only way that is ever going to be any change. 
I'll see you on the next video. Hey, man. We support you over here, Trey. That's why we decided to check this out, bro. Because everything you've said, we have dealt with. Our our views aren't as what they were a year ago. And a year ago, we was good on strikes. We didn't have no strikes. If you guys remember a year ago, we was... Bro, we supposed to be damn near at a million by now. Yeah, for sure. But because once we started getting them strikes, everything started going down. Because we we started going crazy. Yeah, we was going, bro, we was gaining about 20,000 subs a month. Averaging 25,000 subs a month. And it just dropped down. And it's not because we've changed our content and people not rocking with it. Honestly, and we've even asked people, are y'all getting the notifications? And some people's like, bro, I haven't got no... Notifications from y'all in months. I'm talking about they coming to the videos off the strength. Yeah, like, so I appreciate y'all for that because, mm-hmm. like, think about that, bro. People ain't even getting notified, and they still coming to check yeah, out the videos. Yeah, they just check the channel periodically, you know? bro. And I, I appreciate anybody for watching. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Even even the the view count that we do get, man. Because mm-hmm. um, we know always day, appreciative. Like but we said, know what's a lot of the subscribers are not it's, seeing it's, it. it exactly that's that's exactly. the problem a lot of people have been subscribed for months and said bro i haven't got no haven't no notifications in months and some people are like bro i get them all the time you know sometimes i may not even get them on my own phone and i'm <laughs> part of the channel you yeah. know what i'm saying isn't that crazy yeah that, that's same same here like mm-hmm. i i'm like wait we dropped that video what time do we schedule it i have to go in and go actually find it and check it mm-hmm. out but i mean that's the thing, like, he, he said so much, man. He hit so many points. Um, Trey, keep doing you, bro. Oh, for like, sure. Keep doing your thing, bro. You be killing with the skits. Yeah, you do dark humor. People have dark humor. Like, people love dark humor. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I don't get why. It's 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 so crazy because it's so simple. If you don't like something, click off. That, at one point in time, that was it. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, it seems too simple to tell somebody. Like, why is it that an audience that like this can't just watch what they want to and then you have ads dedicated to people in that area an audience who watch this who don't want to see dark humor okay you go watch it the fun bubbly stuff or you know you it should be it's categories for everything man mm-hmm. like once you start searching in youtube you already know your recommendations start going crazy mm-hmm. you know posting and you know giving you ideas of different similar videos that you already checked out before so okay. i don't see why if a person likes certain like some specific why can't that just be recommended to them and you have no issue. Right. Everybody who didn't subscribe to that person's channel, well, y'all know how hard it is for people to subscribe. Maybe y'all don't know, but to have somebody subscribe to your channel is like crazy. Yeah, very You can difficult. say that shit all the time and people just be like, eh, oh, yo, you got some live ass videos. I ain't subscribed. It ain't even like on purpose sometimes. Sometimes people just love to see your content, but don't even just, mm-hmm. it don't ring that bell to actually subscribe. But like, it's crazy that now subscribers aren't even getting freaking notified about <laughs> mm-hmm. like your own personal videos and stuff like that even though that's something that you you didn't finally reel somebody in and now they can't even get the notifications for the video yep. and it's crazy bro because they are silencing people and that, that's kind of like what i was saying before the video started like you know we live in america where it's like land of the free it's freedom of speech but it's not necessarily freedom of speech when you Ooh. think about it it's like they created social media they presented it to people as a new way of a revenue stream um, and a way that people can change their lives or whatever and, you know, tap in. YouTube not even realizing, like, this is a hand, this is a I scratch your back, you scratch my back type thing. Like, if content creators don't post videos, there's nothing for people to come to the site to see. Mm-hmm. So we have to kind of start, you know, realizing, like, we're just as important. We're an important piece to this site just as YouTube is. Like, of course, everybody give them praise for what they put together and been able to do, you know, over other, you know, sites that mm-hmm. we used to go to back in the day, Daily Motion, all that other stuff. Mm-hmm. But they were able to do something, you know, create a way that people can actually create lives off of this. But it's like, now they, they gave you this opportunity to do it. And it's like, now I feel like they starting to be like, oh, let's control it now. Now, now we got them where we want them. Mm-hmm. You know, that's not just YouTube. That's Instagram too. That's TikTok. You know, Instagram wasn't like that at first. Mm-hmm. You can see a fight video on Instagram, just like something simple where nobody like really getting hurt, but just simple. Now you repost something like that, just laughing because of some funny commentary and you getting striked or banned or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like you, Instagram did that too before. I didn't repost to something and I think all the all person doing was cursed and I got a, a little strike thing. I'm like, 
on Instagram? What? Yep. I reposted this. So it's like I feel like they they gave us well, you know oh, let's let's open this opportunity to people now that's like control it. Yeah. Now if you don't listen to it now, hey, you done bought that new. Hey, you better you better conform. Mm -hmm. That's that's kind of like how I feel that YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, all these sites, bro, especially mm -hmm. Facebook. Facebook, I don't even. Oh, yeah. I don't know where to start with them. Like, yeah. You, <laughs> you got grown ass people talking about man, what the fuck? Like, huh? <laughs> nah, Facebook. <laughs> you typing is, like that. That's a different. They're, they're super strict. Man, I was in so. jail, bro. I ain't even. Yeah, yeah, I ain't even seen me for a couple weeks. Nobody said nothing. But I ain't trying to make this super long. But I mean, that's just letting you know, man. This we with you, Trey. Oh, man, for we sure. Understand, we support bro. you, bro. Make sure y'all go subscribe to his channel, man. Yep. Go like, go comment as well. If you've seen him through us reacting to him, go subscribe and comment, bro. Go let him know yeah. that you enjoying this content. I don't care what you, you know, what, what it is you're doing, man. Make sure you go support and comment and comment on our videos as well. Because that is something that's going on, man. And we mm -hmm. do have to start standing up and speaking up about stuff like this. Because it's time for us to kind of stand against the narrative, you know, the thing that's being put. We can see what's going on. We can mm -hmm. see it clear. They're not hiding it. They're doing it in front of our face. So we need to be able to stand up as well and unite and mm -hmm. let them know, like, hey, we here. Mm -hmm. We bring we bring these people to the channel, yeah. to the site. So. We deserve a say as well. Yeah, big facts. So make sure y'all want the likes again. Comment down below what else uh, y'all want us to check out, and let us know what your thoughts in mm -hmm, the comments. Yeah. What do you? What do you? Uh, and also let us know. Do y'all be getting our post notifications? Yeah, for sure. Comment down below if y'all be getting our post notifications, or if y'all don't. If y'all don't get notified, let us know down below. Yeah, that's something good. Yeah, let us yeah, know let us, so we can actually see what's going on here. You know, what I'm and saying? importantly, follow us on social media, both of them, because mm -hmm. again, like when one trip. You know, you'll have our backups. You know, mm -hmm. our backup channel, Clutch Going Rogue. If you're not subscribed to that, make sure y'all go subscribe to that as well. Um, both and, of us on Instagram. Mm -hmm. In the Clutch page on Instagram, TikTok for now. Twitter <laughs> for, now, for yeah. both of us. But <laughs> the more you're, I mean, shit, unless we just getting knocked off all of them at once. Yeah. But, you know, make sure you follow us on different ones so that way we can always keep y'all up to date if anything does happen mm -hmm. um, or update them. So we love y'all, man. Continue to spread love. Be love out there, ladies and gentlemen. Catch y'all on the next piece. Already. The bitch is from Houston. If she got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.